industrial era. It seems odd to try and apply it to a very modern company, a tech company. OK, I mean, I suppose y you could turn that on its head and say, well, Twitter at the moment is a, is a PLC, a shareholder company. That's a much older model than, than the cooperative model. Um, the PLC model is something that arose out of the 19th and 20th century to, to run an industrial economy. Doesn't really seem to fit particularly well with uh, Twitter as a 21st century global platform where all the value is co-created by users. OK, uh, James, many thanks for that. James Wright okay. there. Thank you. Now, almost half of company managers want the next government to prioritise access to the European single market and freedom of movement of people during the talks about leaving the EU. Nearly half of managers who were surveyed by the Chartered Management Institute think a deal that secures those two things would be the best outcome of the upcoming Brexit negotiations. The research also found that managers' top priorities include securing trade deals with non-EU countries and maintaining access to EU talent by guaranteeing the rights of existing EU residents who are already here in the UK. Anne Frank, the chief executive of the Chartered Management Institute, explained a little more. What managers clearly want is a soft Brexit. So 43% uh, wanted access to the single market and they also want to um, continue to have uh, freedom of movement for uh, EU workers. And actually, uh, over 70% wanted one or other of those. Less than one in five wanted a hard Brexit. And Frank there. Uh, let's take a look at some of the other main business stories. And uh, in the last half hour or so, Ford has named Jim Hackett as its new president and chief executive, replacing Mark Fields as the company faces declining sales in the US and Chinese markets. We'll have more on that in the next hour. Uh, leaked documents have revealed the ethical policies of the social media giant Facebook. According to the UK's Guardian newspaper, the company does not instruct employees to remove content showing violent death, abortion and self-harm. The news comes amid calls for Facebook to play a bigger role in censoring content, which some users may find offensive. And Airbus, the plane maker, has appointed a panel of independent consultants to try and stop corruption at the aerospace firm. It follows a series of investigations, including UK regulators launching a bribery investigation of the company's jet division. The panel will be given access to all levels of the company. Let's take a look at the markets. Uh, let's bring those up for you there. The FTSE 100 is uh, up, doing better.